welcome everyone to another topic on simply on chrome driver in which we are going to talk about what exactly is a kind of selenium chrome driver which we are going to use so let's get started with the very first topic is what exactly is a chrome driver now when we are working with selenium so pretty much we are going to use that tool for the automated test cases for the automation of the test cases is what the main basis of the selenium tool here so if you got a website and uh, let's suppose you want to log in you want to put some credentials you want to do some transactions so if this kind of flow you want to test it out definitely having some backend test cases will not help you on that part because they will not help you to click on a particular button put some inputs in that input text so it's it's more on like a uh, dealing with the uh, more on the GUI perspective so that's where the uh, selenium uh, chrome driver or the selenium comes into the picture where it helps you to drive those test cases where if you are working on some kind of GUI uh, related interface and you want to test out that application so this kind of functionality will be helpful for you and how exactly it goes on let's talk about the chrome driver here now chrome driver is a kind of a component which is available in selenium like you pretty much use chrome driver only when you feel like uh, it's being utilized and at that moment of time you are working on uh, the uh, specific chrome driver and it gives you a kind of a content here where you feel like okay I'm going to use this uh, chrome driver to see like how the implementation should be done and how the uh, automation should be performed over here so chrome driver specifically helps you to launches the uh, launch the Google Chrome browser if you're going to use Firefox if you're going to use Internet Explorer then they have their own specific drivers but this one means like all your test cases is going to be executed on the Chrome browser so if your application is compatible with the Chrome browser then this particular driver makes more sense for you so it's kind of a driver like a uh, definitely this web driver is going to have all the API calls embedded inside that which is going to help you to automate your web applications testing so whether you want to go for Chrome driver you want to go for Firefox you want to go for Internet Explorer it totally depends on the user and your applications compatibility if it's compatible with the Chrome you can pretty much use the Chrome driver without any issues as such here right so why exactly we need to use a Chrome driver here now when we are using a Chrome driver so it's basically a kind of main component which is being utilized by the selenium by the uh, selenium web driver because selenium requires a browser plugin or a browser driver so that it can send the request so it can send the request to the chrome and it can process the request uh, if uh, the selenium web driver is saying like I want to hit onto some input box I want to hit onto the summit box so those kind of requests will be processed by the chrome driver so for that purpose we require the uh, chrome driver which will only send the notifications or the communications which will be sent out to the chrome browser with the help of the selenium web driver here now it's being used to navigate between web pages so uh, if you want to navigate or if you want to go from one web page to another web page so for that also you can use the chrome browser chrome driver driver here so while doing the processing here what you can do is like you can put the inputs in the web pages like uh, let's say like you got a login page so you can put up a username password you can uh, have the credentials not only you can provide the credentials but you can also click on some buttons certain buttons like okay let's click on the login button so if you want to test out it uh, how what will happen that if automatically you're going to uh, click on the login button so how your application is going to behave so if this kind of a uh, validation and this kind of verification if you feel like you want to do then in that case these Chrome browser will be used by the selenium to interact now the uh, selenium uh, web driver or the selenium uh, uh, tool can actually send the request and all these requests will be processed by the Chrome driver so ultimately it's a Chrome browser where you will see the end results like the website is getting navigated the browser is getting closed automatically the browser is getting started or initialized automatically here so all that activity is going to be done by the Chrome driver which will intake all the uh, specific requests from the selenium web driver here now let's see like how we can uh, set up a Chrome driver for this one you require a Chrome like a Chrome browser you require whatever the platform you're using Chrome is pretty much installed there if you already got a Chrome uh, browser install all you need to do is like you need to get a browser uh, exe uh, path over there so that you can configure that into your uh, specific uh, source code here so as a chrome driver in the configurations for that you can put okay so this so and so location we have the uh, exe file present there and the source code can actually use it to launch the uh, chrome browser and uh, do whatever the activities he want to perform on there as such 
right so let's see like how we can set up the chrome browser uh, and the chrome driver over here so that we can run some couple of selenium test cases now for the chrome driver uh, demonstration over here we require four things one the jdk installation the jre which can be installed from the oracle we already got the jdk installed into our system and eclipse also installed into our system so these two prerequisites are already being done now chrome browser is uh, something which is also available over here we already got the chrome browser embedded inside this machine so the only thing which is left out is the selenium here because pretty much though the uh, jdk uh, eclipse and chrome browser you will already be having there onto your development machines or into your personal machines if you're already dealing with the uh, test with the java programming source code so you already have these things available there but even if you don't have these things we can easily download those things and uh, configure into our machine so that we can start using that one right so we have the respective uh, links over here eclipse is pretty easy to download just download Download the zip file or a exe file eclipse will be installed and you can start using it and in order to make the eclipse work first you have to do the installation of the uh, jdk or uh, you know the java which you want to install so that that's what you require here right so let's open the selenium uh, browser here so i'm going to click on this button here so this will help me to open the selenium uh, a website selenium.dev is the website which is available there which can help us to see like how we can go ahead with this uh, particular selenium download here so we are going to download the selenium here and then we are going to utilize that uh, selenium over here in this one to process it so this is the selenium which we got this is the website now here if you go to the downloads like first of all you got web driver ide selenium gate these are the different components which is there now if you go to the downloads button so here you will be able to see like all the downloads which is available there like the uh, browser or if you want to see like the web driver if you want to install so these are the different uh, programming languages integrations which is available there right so you can see like how the executions uh, even if for the C sharp you have this one here so you also got the selenium ID which is available there so all these different components are available which you can see uh, which is easy for you to integrate for the selenium here right now since we are going to uh, use it for the Java so we have got like uh, the specific version over here 3.1.141.59 here so this is something which we can use and uh, you can also go for the beta version also but I want to download the uh, stable version over here you can go for the beta download also right whatever version you feel so let's go for the download option over here so this will basically help me to download a specific file a zip file over here now this this zip file is something which is uh, going to have all the required values and attributes which is available there so let's see like what exactly is available in this zip file so this is kind of a selenium which we are downloading and this is what we are going to use in the clips also so in the eclipse we will be using this stuff so that we can utilize it so let's open this one here okay now you got this uh, specific library files these are the different library files which is uh, required over here you can say like as in dependencies and uh, these are the ones which is available there these are the uh, executables like you can say like these will help you to run any kind of selenium test cases so all you need required to do is like you can just integrate these ones into your class path while running uh, your uh, eclipse project you can add these ones to the build path there and this will surely work for you these are the requirements like these are the prerequisites which is required in the eclipse so that you can proceed further with this one if these are not there then it's going to show you the compilation error so first we'll try to put up the code base there and uh, see that what kind of error comes in and then later on we'll see like how we can resolve those errors as such here so let's go to the eclipse right now what we really need to do is like we need to create a new Java project and uh, create a new class so that's what we need to do and in that case uh, we have to configure the build path but I'm not uh, uh, going to uh, add the external jars as of now to put that uh, class path there so what I'm going to do is like I'm going to first see there that how I can do that installation so I, I'm going to copy this code here because this is what I'm going to put up into my a specific class so whatever the name of the class you can give so here we are using in the code base as an the get started here so the same class name we can use so that we don't get any kind of issues so let me copy this content also uh, provided like uh, the driver the chrome is already installed here so we don't require so you can see here that we are giving the path of the chrome driver in case of linux platform when you're trying to deploy it like when you're trying to do 
put it up by there so in that case probably you have to do the installation like you have to download the chrome driver for the linux platform but here it's pretty much like uh, you can simply use it or you can get it uh, uh, done because already the windows platform we are using it so we are launching the eclipse here so uh, in this one we will be creating a quickly a class over here in this one or kind of a project so that we will be able to proceed further with that so uh, we're going to create an empty project here in this case so we got the uh, specific Eclipse open, so we can go for a new Java project here. So I can uh, say it like Selenium, so we can give any project name here. And uh, we can say it like finish. So there will be some uh, basic structure which is available there. So I'm going to quickly create a, a specific uh, uh, file, like a class file here. Now these are the Java files which is available like white from the JDK but uh, we can e easily go to the uh, build path and we can add the external jars but we are not going to do that now we are going to first see like what error we are going to get so I'm going to create a class here like a simple class so getting uh, started is a class which I'm going to create here because that's the one which is available into my content of the class file so you can uh, you know if you feel like you don't want to use the same name like this one so you want to use some different name so you can easily do a rename so that can be easily done there now here the since like uh, the imports is something which is coming up like this is not uh, something which is coming up over here like uh, it's not getting resolved because of the fact that uh, we are pretty much using uh, the specific open uh, the selenium related jar files the genuine jar files but it's not getting that it's not uh, showing that output here so let's see like uh, let's open the uh, specific uh, downloads window here so from where we can access these jar files and we can refer it so we got this one so let's extract this completely uh, you can put these uh, for jar files in any other locations if you feel like you want to refer that so uh, you can keep put up into the default uh, location of the Eclipse also if you feel like this is getting referenced uh, pretty much frequently and there are a lot of projects that you are working so in that case you can have it into a small folder or directly import it into the Eclipse itself so uh, here I'm just doing a one-time activity so let's uh, use this uh, downloads folder itself from where we can simply import these uh, jar files here so these are the jar files which is available there in the libraries we also got like an, an additional jar file which is available right so uh, we can uh, go ahead with that part here so these are the different libraries which is available and these are again the libraries so let's uh, you know change the build path here so we'll go for the build path here and uh, we'll say like uh, we can add the libraries here now libraries is something which we want to sorry we want to edit the build path here so here we're going to uh, talk about the external libraries like you know the libraries which is available there which we want to put up into this one so we can say like add external jars so now we can go for the downloads button here and here we can put up this jar file here now we also got a, a sources one a sources jar file which is also available there but what we have done is like we have added only the uh, executable ones because sources ones and executable ones is just, just the same the only thing is that the sources one will have the source code also we don't require that as such then uh, lastly we comes up with the JUnit one then of course like a uh, JUnit uh, you know is also being referenced here so for that we don't have to download the JUnit one because most of the Eclipse browsers are already having the libraries integrated so all you need to do is like you need to click on the uh, add library here and we already got the JUnit in this one so we don't have to really go anywhere there because it's a part of the plugin of the Eclipse that it's already integrated there in case of selenium you went for the add external jar files and you added the jar file there but not in this case in JUnit it will be automatically referenced because of the fact that we are using it on over here in this case right so these are the two references like JUnit also we reference it because we are running some JUnit test cases here so which is like already a part of the uh, plugins here in the Eclipse yes uh, if you put the plugin of uh, the selenium and you integrate in the same way then also you don't have to go for this third party references but it's okay like you can reference it there and um, you know any project of selenium can work now because you got the basic executables required for that so that that's how it, it works on there
right now we also have got like a certain uh, other jar files which is uh, which needs to be added up over there now those were not uh, something which we added because right now we just resolve the issues related to the uh, selenium but uh, these selenium uh, executables may also have some another dependencies so for that what you need to do is like you need to add and another uh, folder like uh, you know another uh, folder over here which is like lib here so these jar files will also coming up over here because your code base is maybe available or maybe dependent on these ones so these are the exact uh, you know because your selenium may be dependent on these jar files there so that's also we are going to add up over here so not only the client combined jar file but other dependent jar files also is going to be there into the referenced libraries here right now let's find out the executable path of the chrome browser here so i'm going to open the uh, c drive here because in that case we will be having the chrome browser installed so it's a standard location where you will be able to see your uh, particular chrome application exe file here so uh, pretty much this is the directory structure which is available there like in this one uh, it, it will be installed there so um, you can get the same information from the uh, chrome uh, shortcut or the from a uh, chrome uh, icon also that where exactly the the exe file is referenced and if any difference is there so you can do that now this is a directory like this is the exe file which is available there so I'm going to just put that one over here in this one right so this is the way uh, we are going to put up the paths here in this one so like how the uh, path should be referenced should be executed over here and uh, ultimately uh, this is required because definitely when we are going to run the test cases uh, this Chrome browser will be sent the notifications to open a www.google.com here and it's going to uh, wait over there on that part and uh, it's going to search uh, the specific uh, keyword over here called Chrome driver so this is what it's this program this basic program is going to perform here so now let's run the chrome browser here so uh, we're not going to run the chrome browser but ultimately the JUnit test cases so you right click over here and say run as JUnit test cases and this will ultimately help you to launch a chrome browser now I have not triggered it manually uh, I have uh, got it like automatically over here and you can see like the cursor is going to blank because it's basically waiting for the selenium to put up the inputs and all now if you have the test cases executed like you open this website go to this website click on this and they click on that so according to that your browser will start behaving without any interaction from the human there now this is a kind of a functionality which we will get with the selenium and this makes easy for us like if we want to validate or if we want to go through any kind of web application based testing this is the ultimate way like how we can go for that verifications right so this is what we have in this demo where we can see like how the uh, automatically we can do the Chrome browser we can interact with Chrome browser right from the selenium over here so let's go back to the main content right so that was the way that how we can configure the chrome driver with the uh, selenium here so that we can invoke chrome browsers and when then we can according to the statements we can start sending the request so that's uh, pretty much which is there now the various uh, activities which we did in this case was the JDK installation uh, Eclipse selenium a chrome browser now chrome browser IDE and JDK is pretty easy to download and you can configure it and uh, that that's the way that how we can set up the chrome browser the main important thing is like how to download the selenium and refer it into your projects you can so that you can start using the selenium over here so that's it for this guys thanks everyone bye bye Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.